The, the right, number to hit is 635-9 dead. The high area where they're adjusting their forms right now. We're reading it with a scanner and with the auto level, it's reading an eighth eye. An eighth inch is the difference between winning and losing in the yearly Super Flat 4 competition between the second and third years at Local 4 or 4 up in Cleveland. Like we do just about every year, we have the X-Series laser scanners and field link uh, out there to help the guys when they're pouring it to show them where they're high and low um, and then to compare with the dipstick afterwards. So here, Ben Little with uh, Building Point Ohio Valley was able to tell the second years they were a bit high. And without even going to Barry to Julius, the uh, head trainer at Local 404, or even back to Ben, they knew to go grab the um, laser level and actually check it themselves again to make sure that what they were hearing was correct and double check it before they start um, trying to fix it. So here you can see Ben actually showing some of the other attendees in town. We had actually had some um, Cleveland Council people and a state senator even come in to uh, this event, which was really cool. Uh, but here he, he's actually just showing the high and low spots just with that elevation heat map. And then as they go through, we'll continue to scan in about two to three minutes, show them where they're high and low. Um, and then hopefully with that information, they're going to be able to put down as flat of, of a floor as they can. Um, flat floors are a process, not a product. So you, you really do have to follow the correct ways to, to implement and put a concrete floor down. So here's what it looked like at the beginning of February in sunny Cleveland. Um, moving from the station view where we kind of had the scanner set up top, we generally will uh, show them the high and low elevation um, with the uh, elevation here being to actually uh, state plane. So 635 and nine inches. Um, with about half inch high and a half inch low. Each pad is actually at a different elevation to keep them honest too. Uh, and so here's the, the flat floor. If we actually go back a couple of scans, you can um, start to see where it was a lot higher um, before they started to fix it. So um, they were able to see that area and then come back through scan nine, fix it uh, quite a bit, and then actually go straight into a floor analysis, which is pretty easy. Um, Field link will actually define um, what is flat and what is not. And then you can do a contour analysis or even draw the FFFL nines. So the second years uh, had a 75, 78, according to the scanner. And Jeff, uh, with PSI, actually measured them at about 83, 79. And then the third years um, had an FF uh, 56 and an FL 140. And then field link the X7 scanner read at about 54 and 139. So really matching it pretty well. So you, what's nice about field link and having this data is you have it in perpetuity. Um, and you can actually see where your lines were drawn. Um, and using that elevation data, you can start to see um, where you should have maybe should not run your lines as well too. So we hope to be back again next February for the same event. Uh, bringing out the X-Series scanners and Fieldlink and, and, and showing these guys how they're putting the concrete down and showing them the process that hopefully helps them put them down, um, put it down flatter. If you have any questions, uh, please reach out to your nearest Building Point distributor for a demo. Um, and once again, thank you to Jeff at PSI and Barry at Local 404. Uh, and have a great day.